Hey people, welcome to Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. This is Project Sam. The running board's done. And guess what? The brown truck people showed up with my radiator. Right as I pulled my shorts off to get in the shower. Talk about timing. Ah, oh, but I got some other stuff to do, so we got some assembly. Well, right, let's do it. Everybody should dance. Stand up right now and do it. Just shake it. Shake what God gave you. When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. Radiator. I need to give you a little update on what I'm doing and uh, it's been a while so I had all this stuff off and we were doing the motor work I came to the radiator and took out where the fans at okay the original radiator bolted to this edge right here all of a sudden I'm all oh my god I mismeasured and look at where the fans at oh crap anyway this was a six cylinder radiator Sam had the old pretty Hemi flathead 232 in it. So by putting this in, I forgot to measure for the extra pulley rings and the fan ended up too close. I was going to put a bigger radiator in there, a thicker core that would hold more volume, but look like the stock one. Of course, it was going to have to be made. And then I'm like, oh, that didn't work. So I'm looking at this area and I measured out something and I made a mock-up radiator. I used some foam and a piece of plastic plastics off Joey's big screen TV <laughs> but it totally fits in there right I have to make brackets and junk to hold it but that's a big place to put a radiator it's double the size of the one I had in there and it's bitching so I got to get all this stuff put together so I can you know make sure I mount it in the right spot I can't screw it up it's a one-shot deal so I got some inner fender wells to put on. I probably got to put the front on, the front faces, Sam, to make sure that I got this on the right side. I can't remember if it's this side or the other side. I don't know, man. So I got to put, I basically got to put the whole thing together to see what I'm doing wrong and then I can go forward. So, ha ha. Man, after a lot of sweating and scratching up absolutely everything I painted, <laughs> I got it on. Bolted up somewhat, except the face. But now I know what I got to work with, and it's this little tiny space in between there. You see it? See what I'm talking about? It's got a. And in there, I'm probably going to have to go with a electric fan but I also down there on the bottom where the grill butts up I marked it with a pin you can't see it but the important thing is is that I can so I know how much space I got to work with hopefully it'll go in there Joey and I did mock it up once and it did clear
Well, I got the radiator out, people, and like I said before, it's a Griffin radiator. I got it out of Summit, and it's for a, actually for a drag car. It can handle up to 600 horsepower, so I'm not really sweating what Sam's going to put out. It'll be around 250, 300-ish. I'm not trying to make it too freaky, but I do want to keep it cool, so this came... Uh, yesterday right when I was jumping in the shower like I was saying now I'm about to start mocking it in see how it's got to fit on here but it looks like I have all the clearance I need we'll see in case you want to get a hold of these guys they're very affordable Griffin radiators 100 Hurricane Creek Road Piedmont South Carolina 29673 or you can give them a call area code 864-845-5000 They'll hook you up. And this radiator didn't cost me that much, comparatively speaking, to how much these things. Some of them go for six to eight hundred bucks. So I got off lucky, and it's American made. Oh, people! I mocked up this hair radiator, and something I didn't know was the angles and size of these valves. So I mocked it up, <clears throat> and I got three inches on this side. And three inches on that side I gotta take out. That's kind of a bummer because this thing's part of the structural thing. When I hook the hood on, because Sam has a butterfly in, it ties from here to there. So if I screw this up, the whole thing's gonna fall apart. <laughs> and it's all bolted together, so I gotta do some welding, cutting, and some serious, serious fabricating. Alright people, it's getting a little hot out here. That's all I can do for today, but tomorrow fresh. We'll see what I can get done. Thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Peace out, babies.